Anyone that has the ability to use data to help solve problems, it's going to be good for their career. When you take a product or a process, which everyone says is just the way it has to be, and you know, there's all these people telling you you can't do it this way, you can't do it that way, and then to show them that you can do something different. What I do in my class is I help people uh, improve how they can frame problems more efficiently, their approach to problem solving, how they can use uh, data. I tell people to use data analysis methods a lot more efficiently, and they just have that opportunity to kind of go through that again, and it really solidifies their, uh, their foundation. I don't have to spend a lot of time on statistical proofs or, or theory. I really just talk about applications that I can focus on. Here is the primary types of tools we're going to use. Here's the primary methods we're going to use, and here are applications and how we can apply them in a real world setting. We all learn different ways, so some of us learn from one approach, and then somebody else, by coming at it from a slightly different angle, they say, wow, I see the connection now and I see how that is done. It's fun and sometimes people say, you know, wow, you've solved all these problems. I said, no, I've mentored a lot of projects and I've coached a lot of projects, but I've just been involved with so many continuous improvement efforts. It's just so exciting and the chance to have the ability to bring that back into the classroom. When you finally get people to, to change a business process, which is a little unconventional, but works. And it takes a lot of effort and a lot of convincing uh, but it's a very rewarding when you can get people to say, hey, that's the process that I developed that people are using and it's working for them.